Hi, it's uh, Duncan here, the developer of OC USB Mapper. I wanted to do a video on to explain how to correctly configure um, the Open Cockpit devices, especially the preferences file, and how to get EFIS zero. You know, the EFIS is correct, so that EFIS zero is the captain, and EFIS one is the first officer. So. The first step, which is very important, is to label all the end of your um, USB um, cables with what everything is, so that when you're plugging everything in, you know what it is. So like we've got EFIS 0, EFIS 1, CDU 0, CDU 1, and it just makes everything so much easier. Now I've got this file um, called ocusbmapper.preferences and it lives in the normal preferences plane for explain explain 11 output preferences ocusbmapper.preferences and what I've got here is a list of all the devices from open cockpits that there can be more than one of so the MCP is not in there, the ATC module is not in there because there can only be one of them. But for example, the EFIS, you can have two EFISs, EFIS 0 or EFIS 1. Now, every USB device has a vendor ID, and for open cockpits, it seems to always be 0 and it has a PID which is a product ID so for example on the USB device um, all the open cockpits um, product IDs are zero so zero means it's a USB device and 19 is a pedestal device which just works the same as a USB you know the servos all, all number three um, CDUs uh, 13 these are hexadecimal values so that's not a decimal 13 it's a hexadecimal 13 and the other part is they have a unique ID as to what as to which USB port they're plugged into plugged into so like my USB 0 is plugged into this USB port USB 1's plugged into this one so I'm going to use the example of an EFIS. So when this file is first created, everything has the word available next to it, which means it hasn't been used. Now the correct method is that you want EFIS 0 to be the captain, captain's EFIS, and you want EFIS 1 to be the co-pilot's, or the first officer's EFIS. So what you do is you don't plug in the USB EFIS and the captain's EFIS at the same time because there's a 50-50 chance that you'll get them in the wrong order. So first of all you just plug in the captain's EFIS and you start up X-Plane and what will happen is it will create a line like this and it will say, which is basically saying that this EFIS, which is, EFIS is a, a hex 00B that lives at port, this port here, is going to be the captain's EFIS. Okay, so you only need to go as far as the first screen where you choose what aeroplane you want to fly. Then you close down X plane, start up, uh, then you plug in EFIS, uh, your second EFIS, which is the co pilot's one, restart X plane. And you and then it'll create a second line which has what port your um, co-pilot or first officer's EFIS is plugged into. Okay, so okay, this, so that is the correct method and you always want EFIS 0 or EFIS, EFIS 0 or CDU 0 or COM 0 or NAV 0 to be the captain and you want NAV 1, ADF 1, whatever to be the co-pilot. Of course, if I'd done this wrong, there's various solutions uh, to correcting it, is that I, I could just swap 
this line with this line and then I would, you know, like if, if your EFIS zero was the first officer and you wanted it to be the captain, you just basically swap the two lines. The other alternative is you can just go to the um, USB hub, get EFIS zero, EFIS one, physically pull them out, swap them, push them back in. But the preferred method is to build it up, at, you know, step by step. So what I normally do, if I've pulled everything apart and I'm trying to put it back together again I will plug in uh, USB 0, Servo 0, EFIS 0, uh, COM 0, NAV 0, whatever, CHRONO 0 and then I will start X-Plane so they'll all get allocated, I'll, stop, I'll uh, shut down X-Plane and I'll plug in what I want to be the first officers for everything and then start it and, and that way it's simple. So basically it has to know um, when you've got two identical devices, which one is the captain's and which one is not the captain's. So um, then I want to, and to make sure you've got it right, all you've got to do is go into um, Xplain, bring up Data Ref Tool, and here I'm actually looking at the EFIS device. So these are the array positions, like these are the input buttons for the EFIS and these are the bar barometer and um, min mins and meters and the mode and the range so this column here is EFIS 0 and this column here is EFIS 1 so if I s start changing the range for example on my EFIS my captain's 1 you see it's changing from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 so I definitely know that that is the captain's ephus and it's a bit hard to see but here I'm changing the uh, co-pilot's one and you can see the the digit on the right's increasing my arm's not long enough so so that's how you confirm it um, and you should basically do that for each um, device to make sure that the captain is what you think it is and the ethos is what you think it is. And if I guess if I just have a look at a script. Uh, which one? Basically at the top of every script there will be something saying what device it is and in this case it was set up the captain to be zero and the comm to be uh, the um, first officer to be one so that's why it's zero one I mean one other alternative for these particular scripts is if you rather than changing it in preferences you could just make that one and that zero but I think that's a silly idea I think you should always get it right in the preferences file so don't do that anyway um, I hope the explanation helps with setting up the um, your devices correctly so that you don't so you get the captain on the captain side and the first officer on the first officer see ya